Hey guys, so today I'm filming this look. Um, I am kind of recreating a look that I saw on um, Basketball Wives. Her name is Evelyn Lozaro, I think her name is. And um, I really, really like the way that she does um, her makeup. I think this was like from the first season that she always used to wear kind of like a um, like a golden lid and then in the crease it wasn't brown it was like um, it was like a pinkish color and um, so I recreated that and um, what else can I say about it what I have noticed about her is that I guess I'm not sure if she has like I guess she does have like a, like a big space um, like from her eyebrow to her lid so I see that she fakes her crease kind of um, in there and I did um, kind of like that but my eye shape isn't her, like exactly like her so yeah so I did kind of put it bring it in a little bit but not as much as she does she kind of brings it all the way up here um, but yeah anyway um, what else she has very very glowy skin and sometimes it kind of can look um, greasy yeah that's the word too glowy um and so since i have oily skin i powdered a lot and i just put a little bit of highlight like on the cheek the top the um the top of the cheekbones but i didn't do highlight like all over or, or anything and then i kept um everything else pretty pretty matte so on with the tutorial yeah this is a different um way to do the tutorials um but you know i don't know you guys can tell me whether you like it this way or the other way whatever just feel free to comment down below and um i think i have a blog coming up after this because uh yeah i need to talk to you guys i guess that's it keep watching to begin this look i'm going to be using rubenesque paint pot uh, only on the lid and I'm just going to be using my finger I just feel like with my finger I can uh, more precisely um, apply it to just the lid now she has gold on her lid so I'm going to be topping that off with this color and this uh, flat shader brush uh, the color is called uh, F03 from my Forever Neutral palette. And I'm just going to be placing that all over just the lid. Now, Evelyn has a pink crease, so I don't have an eyeliner that's pink, so I'm using a lip liner that's pink. And this lip liner is from Avon. It's called Ultra Luxury Lip Liner, and the color is neutral. That's the thinnest one, the, the lightest one that they have. And, um, I'm just using it to uh, cut my crease and I'm bringing in it a little bit more and I'm using a smudge brush to fade out that line a little bit because I don't want it to be so crisp. I don't want it to be, you know, exactly like a cut crease, but I just want it to be a definition there that is pink. So I am going to be using a an e.l.f. brush and um, going in with a color called Fawn from my Miron palette. And Fawn is more like a orangey pinkish color, but it's more on the orange side. So I'm going to be putting that on top of that, that lip liner. And then I'm going to be adding my highlight. Now my highlight is going to be a pressed foundation in the color shell and when I noticed when I was putting this on was that it was fading the, uh, the crease color a lot so I am going to be going back in with my Mayron palette and using a color called cinnamon and now that color is more of a pinkish toned color it's, it's got a little orange in it but it's more in the on the pinkish tone and it's deepening up that crease because I lost a little bit with the highlight. I'm using the Sally Girl um, bronzer 
and I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and I'm using it as a transition color from the gold and the pink. I'm going to line my eyes and put on my fake lashes. And mascara. I also neglected to tell you that I did line my waterline with a jumbo pencil and with milk. And now I'm just putting on my foundation, which I'm using the Avon Ideal Flawless Foundation in the color medium beige Now this foundation is uh, pretty thick and um, what I've noticed is that it streaks a lot it streaks with brushes um, I've used this brush is one of my favorite brushes and I have another brush that's um, kind of pointed but it also streaks so what I have tended to start doing with this foundation is putting it on with a brush and then going back in with my finger with my fingers all over and getting rid of the um, of the streaks and it works really really well so I am going to use my bright eyed light it's like a peachy kind of concealer and it works very very well under uh, the eye area to brighten that up the name says. Now I need to set that so I'm going to be using a fluffy brush and my shell and I'm going to be using um, the color sand beige all over and because Evelyn has a very Mm, very very glowy face I'm gonna go in with another color and this other color is a little bit darker and it's called medium beige and I'm gonna contour a little bit with it just kind of adding an all-over glow to um, the forehead um, the side of the cheeks now that right there is um, a highlight and well actually it's a a blush and it's from hard candy it's called pin up and if you put too much like I just did just use a big old brush and just blend it away I gotta do my eyebrows and I'm using this duo ended brush it's got a spoolie on one side and a angled brush on the other side and I'm using my NYC brush on brow kit Now for my lips, which is um, the last step, I'm using that same lip liner that I use for my eyes and I'm using it again for my lips and I'm using Soft Nude Gloss from L'Oreal and that's it, that's the finished look. Thanks for watching.